Last year around this time I spent two full weeks playing video games. I set out to beat The Last of Us Part 1 and Part 2 and while it was a great time, it was the only thing I did. I felt terrible and I was certainly addicted. If you clicked on this video you probably know what it's like. The emptiness, the anxiety, feeling useless and being a failure. I'm happy to say that I've improved on this greatly and have successfully limited the hours I spend gaming. Now there's nothing wrong with playing video games. I play an hour of Zelda at the end of every day but I do believe it's not great for us to play for multiple hours every single day and there's certainly more productive things we can do with our time. One reason we like playing video games so much is because we like sitting in front of our computer. We can't change the fact that we love sitting at the computer but we can utilize that and make ourselves more useful. Video games offer instant gratification while coding provides a deeper and more prolonged sense of accomplishment. If approached correctly, coding can become as captivating as any video game. Ooh. And it may be your next well-paid job, side hustle, or at least, hopefully, your next hobby. Let me present to you my six-step framework for replacing video games with coding. Step 1. Motivation. You need to motivate yourself by finding out why you're doing this. Do video games make you feel bad or are you interested in pursuing a side hustle? Also, decide a limit on how much you're allowed to play video games. For example, an hour per day, five times a week. Also, set a clear end goal. What would you like to code? A website, an app, or perhaps even a video game? Step 2. Pick a language to start off with. I recommend Python. It's easy to learn and you can quickly go from knowing nothing to producing something pretty cool. You can also try JavaScript or a game engine. This will give you immediate feedback and are similar to the instant gratification we get from video games. Be sure to check out my other video about the best way to learn coding in 2023. Step 3. Gamify the process. While transitioning from video games to coding, you'll probably miss the rewards you get from video games. You can get around this by gamifying the coding process. Every time you accomplish something, give yourself a reward. For example, an hour of video games. Step 4. Create a text adventure game. Once you've learned the basics, make your first project. I suggest making a text adventure game because that's what I did and it worked. It allows you to not only practice coding but also design, problem solving and creating a story. Draw inspiration from your favorite video games. For example, when I made my first big text adventure game, I was heavily inspired by the Telltale games because I love them. Step 5. Find a community. I mostly play single player games but if you play multiplayer games you'll end up missing the social aspect of video games. So to battle this to Desire, you should join an online community with other coders. Perhaps I will create one once my channel grows, but for now, find Discord servers and subreddits with other developers. Step 6. Create something with business value. Once you're satisfied with your text adventure game and you've got a sense of community, it's time to create something with business value. I've done this one time where I created a job matching website for students. It was one of the most interesting times in my life and I suggest you do the same. Instead of just coding for fun or for yourself, pick a group of people you'd like to help. Define their pain points and then code something that solves one of those pain points really well. And then all you have to do is monetize it and you've created your first side hustle. This is the step you'll work on forever and it might not land success straight away. Just do it over and over again and you might end up creating something incredible. No matter what you create, it'll certainly be more impressive than beating a raid boss. The goal isn't necessarily to quit video games entirely, but to strike a nice balance and minimize excessive video gaming. Making something from scratch and for yourself will also give you a sense of accomplishment. If you like this video, the best thing you can do to support me is to click like like and subscribe for more videos like this and once you've done those two things click and watch this video next thanks for watching and i wish you luck with your coding